Hello, my name is Stiley Hayward. I would like to welcome you to the Blessed Hope Ministry. We are a King James grounded family Bible study. These lessons are not to be a substitute for regular church attendance. Nightly I direct my family through the Bible by chapter and verse. We request you to join us and to study from God and His Son Jesus Christ. You may have permission to like, send, or encourage our studies with family or friends. Edification of what God has and what He desires in our life. Study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly divine the word of truth. You may use our studies, but I request that you do not abuse them. For YouTube videos, subscribe below for more videos. And place the thumbs up and leave a comment or email me. Thank you. Revelation chapter 16. And I heard a great voice out of the temple. By hearing these angels' voices. Saying to the seven angels. And to compare to verse 15. These seven angels were given seven vials of the wrath of God. Go your ways. Pour out the vials of the wrath of God upon the earth. <coughs> love of God. And yet God of love is a God of wrath when it comes to people who will rebel against his word. We can preach the love of God. We also got to preach the angry God. Sin cannot dwell in the patience of God. And when God tells you to do something and you will not do it. Then you're going to bring judgment in trouble. And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth. And there fell a noisome, it's a noxious to hell, hurtful, disgusting, offensive to the smell. This one stinks. It's disgusting. It hurts. And it's not good for your health. And grievous sore, Job chapter 2, upon the men which had the mark of the beast, and upon them which worship his image. Now you're going to see these vials, unlike the trumpets and seals, these vials are going to focus on one particular group of people. And I believe that in Egypt there was a sore among the Egyptians. Boils. Imrods, that that's the Philistines. I was Boils. I've had one, bo I had two, one boil twice. I'm saying that correct. And Job had them all over his body from his head to his toe. And it doesn't say boil, but it says sore in Job chapter 2, scripture with scripture. Boils smell, and they are a grievous sore. And it's for those that that had the mark of the beast and worship his image. We saw in chapter 15, we saw Jews that conquered, got victory over the name, over the number, and over the mark. These are people who had received it. And the second angel poured out his vial upon the sea. Look at all the damage God's doing to the waters. Save the waters. Save the animals. Save the whales. Save the... And it became as the blood of a dead man. As the blood of a man. It's not the blood of man, but became like it. And every living soul died in the sea. Marine life is now dead. You are saving the whales for no extinction. It's right there. The second vial will cremate all sea life. What? It will make it stink, not cremate. Make it and when it comes to the days of creation, what were their first life forms? Sea animals and birds. The land animals and man came next. So there is a pointed time for sea life. Lobsters, crabs, tuna fish, whales, 
trying to think of that one that was the manatees. Everything that people say, they saved the turtles, the sea turtles down here. They have a nice little hospital set up area for them that, that they don't have no insurance. They don't pay nothing. Well, the heck with it because God says he's going to kill them all. But you take care of people more than you do these stupid animals. I see Christians get upset because, because fine. Yeah, this guy's getting prosecuted for hurting a dog. Hmm. Christ died for humans, not animals. Jesus said we're more valuable than sparrows. And the third angel poured out his vial upon the rivers and the fountains of water, and they became blood. Man's drinking source. And I will assume that since most of your bottled water comes from rivers and fountains of water, you're going to go to the grocery store. I'm going to buy me a plastic jug of water, and it's going to be blood. This is another plague that died in Egypt. The blood. Did you know that the fish in the Nile River died too? And there was a big stink? Friend, history is coming back. And I heard the angel of the waters say, so there is a particular angel of waters. We saw one in the sun. We saw four angels that took care of the wind. We saw an angel of the river Euphrates. Jesus points to the fact is that there may be an angel of children, what we call the guardian angel. We know that there's angels of the church period. I wouldn't want to know what this angel, this lad to see it looks like. He probably has gray hair beyond all gray hair. I smack himself in the forehead. I can't believe that. He's got probably a mark on his head. I heard the angel of the warriors say, Thou art righteous, speaking of God, O Lord, which art and was and shalt be. Well, that's interesting because that's Jesus Christ and that is God, the Alpha and Omega. Because thou hast judged thus. Here's the judgment. For they have shed the blood of saints. And prophets. That's the tribulation period. Jews and the 144. And all the men. Moses and Elijah. And thou hast given them blood. To drink. They will drink the blood. I believe in Exodus. After water turned to blood. I believe it said it was seven days. Seven weeks. Something like that. And we don't know if the water went back to blood, but we know, you know, if you go over Egypt today, it's not blood. So we know the, the water went back to water. Not here. It said Egypt went around digging for water. Not here. Man's water source now will be blood. You've been killing people? Drink it. They've been having Jewish blood. That dragon sought to eat that Jewish child. Fine. You want to have a bloody mass? I'll give mass to the blood. How's that? How's that for reaping what you're sowing? You've been pretending to drink Jesus' blood? That's fine. I'll make you drink blood. And you know, aren't we in a day of law? In a tribulation period? Law is absolutely forbidden in the law. Blood drinking was forbidden before the law that God told Noah. Blood drinking is one of the things that the apostles got together at the council and said, no, no one should drink blood. Now, these men are not going to do right. They don't want to do right. So they're just adding to their sins by blood drinking to murder. And we'll see that in a minute. And I heard another out of the altar saying, even so, Lord God Almighty, true and righteous are thy judgments. They deserve what they drink. Now, how wicked is that? That's how wicked man is. By the way, you can't have beer here. Beer is mostly water. You can't have a cup of coffee because coffee is made by water. You can't have soda because there's water in soda. You can't make dough and cakes. There's no water. Look what this blood has done to the food and to the main drinks 
of all people. And I heard another angel of the altar say, Even so, Lord God Almighty, Jehovah, true and righteous are thy judgment. That's a judgment upon man. And the fourth angel poured out his vial upon the sun. That's going to be interesting what goes on with these, with that sun. There's an angel standing in the sun. The sun's going to be one-third quarter gone. Then the sun's going to go dark. And power was given unto him to scorch men with fire. Ouch. You know, they talk about these sunspots and they talk about the, I forget what the, the word is, you know, solar flares. Here it is. The Bible says solar flares, if that's what God calls it, are going to reach the earth and it's going to torch your behind. You will be burned by Baal. You'll be crispy at the beach. Look at all the people that, in the summertime, look at all the people that lay out half undressed, if not undressed, to bail. God says, okay, fine. You want to burn? You want a sunburn? I'll give you one. There you go. It's what man wants. And men were scorched with great heat. And blasphemy the name of God. They're calling out Jesus Christ and Jehovah and cursing because of the heat. They know who the author of it is. Which had power over these plagues. And they repented not to give him glory. When you repent, you give God the glory. When you get right and do right, God gets the glory. These men are not doing it. So we're seeing here crying uncle of disastrous, painful events is not causing men to repent. Their heart is so hardened against righteousness. They will rather curse God than get right with God. And that's the nature of man. It's sad. These men will burn in the lake of fire forever. And maybe cursing God while they're doing it, even though it's their fault. And the fifth angel poured out his vial upon the seat of the beast. The Antichrist. He's going to get it. And his kingdom was full of darkness. Now we're starting to get to the end of the seven years. I think these vials, I think they're, they're separate. But I think they go along with the seals and the trumpets. But these are after the great tribulation. These are after the mark of the beast. And they are designated for particular people. The Jews that are in that place that God prepared for them not getting this. As the darkness did not happen in Goshen. As the... the uh, uh, the death angel went and killed the firstborn. Didn't happen to Israel. And there were a couple other plagues that did not happen to Israel. Well, here are plagues that are happening to a serpent group of men like Egypt. And when those Jews are reading their Old Testament and reading Revelation, man, they're going to say, wow. And I hope their fathers and their synagogues are teaching them because they're going to say, that's exactly what, that's how God, wait a minute. If this is happening now and it was happening back then in the book of Exodus, there's going to be a man like unto Moses who's going to come and get us. It's going to be Jesus Christ. And brother, when Jesus Christ comes, doesn't he kill not only the firstborn, but everyone who is in rebellion against him? He splits the war, he splits the sea open in heaven before they come out of Egypt to come and get them. And he'll bring them up the king's highway and cut across the Jordan River, split that in half like he did with Joshua. And like Rehab, there may be some Gentiles that help the Jews be like, here we are. You ever wonder if, with that case there, if Rehab's family ever knew the exact tent to what? She prepared them by bringing her in her house. 
I think the, the, the sheik nations that God divides from the goat nation, I think they're going to be liking the Rahab on that wall. Because she helped who? Israel. What a great story. Some people don't read the Old Testament because it's old. It's wonderful. Some people don't read their Bible at all. Fifth angel, death, poured out his vial upon the seat of the beast. Where is the Antichrist seated? In the temple, the mercy seat, and the Bible says, upon the seat of the... That's his seat. That seat that's in the temple there, that's his seat. Because God's seat is seated in heaven with the Lord Jesus Christ. And his kingdom was full of darkness, like Egypt. I can't imagine. The Bible does... I know one thing about this. It said, in Egypt it was dark and Israel was light. I can't imagine that. How did you get the two... When you are standing on the border of Egypt and the border of Israel. It could be blind. Because I know you would think you would see the light. I, I, it's weird. It's, it was a darkness that you could feel. My grandma went to one of those Calisburg caverns, something like that, over in the west. And they said they take you down to these caves down deep in the center of the earth. And they city everybody down, make them all, you know. And then they turn off the lights. There's no They said, you can feel it. That has spooked me out. It was full of darkness and they gnawed, bit. Their tongues for pain. They are chewing their tongue. Sort of like they chewed out the preacher in Acts chapter 7, Stephen, in anger. Can you imagine you are in so much pain you are biting your own tongue? Now, I bit my tongue several times and had to have medicine one time. It hurts. When you get a sore on your tongue, when you're trying to eat and that sore is right where your teeth are, that hurts. And blaspheming the God of heaven because of their pains and their sores and repented not of their deed. Still didn't get right. The Antichrist does not get right with God. He gets worse. Remember he had the names of blasphemy? He's been blaspheming God all three and a half years. And the sixth angel, man, Mark and the Beast. This is the number of man, six. Poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates. Isn't it funny how that river is still named Euphrates? No one's ever changed that. You can go over a Bible right now in Israel... And a place that's in the Bible, they, they gave it a, a, another name. The water there was dried up that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. And this is the battle of Armageddon. Okay. And saw, I mean, and I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon, Satan, out of the mouth of the beast, Antichrist, and out of the mouth of the false prophet, Judas. Remember there were frogs in Egypt? Um, relationship with, with witches and frogs and toads. Frogs are one of man's thinking that they were manifestations of dead man's souls. I guess if they were thought to be the souls of dead men. They found a prehistoric frog and they named him Belzebeth. Boo. And they took the name from Beelzebub, the Lord of the Flies. And you remember when the frogs died up, they sweeped them all into piles and the land stunk in Egypt. They came from the river, Nile, for they are the spirits of devils, and they'll give you warts, that's what they say, working miracles, and so the, the, the Antichrist, the devil, and the false prophet are still doing charismatic duty, even though this is all going on, the magic show is still performing. While God is passing his judgments. 
But they had the spirits of the devil working miracles. I wonder what kind of miracles they working. Because they sure ain't giving them relief from the heat. They sure are not giving them water. The magicians in Egypt, when Moses turned the water and blood, oh, what can we do as magicians? We're going to add to it. We're going to make more blood. Fools. If I was fair, I'd smack them right in it. Thank you very much. Weren't you supposed to make water? No, only God can make water. Man can make blood. Can he? Yeah. With a knife, with a gun, torture. He can make plenty. That's what they said by killing men. For they are the spirit of devils working miracles which go forth unto the kings of the earth. Remember there was ten kings. The ten heads had ten crowns. Satan has a kingship. He has royalty, not presidency. Of the earth and the whole world to gather them to battle of that great day of God Almighty, and that's Armageddon, which all the Hollywood movies make their own version. Behold, I come as a thief. Jesus spoke about that, coming as a thief. Isn't that interesting? I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watches. Blessed is he that endureth in the end. And keepeth his garments. Least he walk naked. And they see his shame. Don't want to walk naked. And he gathered them together in the place called in the Hebrew tongue. Hey, here's a Hebrew word you can know. Armageddon. The Mount of the Slaughter. You want to know Hebrew? There's a nice word for you. He, Armageddon. God has Hebrew words for us to know. God has Greek words for us to know. What words in the Greek and the Hebrew, God says, I want the English people to know. There they are. Now, I don't know what they do with the Spanish, but the Spanish can know Hebrew too. See? Not so hard. And the seventh angel poured his, out his vial into the air. And there came a great voice out of the temple of heaven from the throne saying, It is done. The seven vial. That's it. The seven mile vial will match the seventh seal and the seventh trumpet. It's done. God is finished with man. Bride, get on the horse. Let's go. On the cross, Jesus said, it is finished. Now it is done. And there were voices and thunders and lightning. And I'm going, ooh, ah, I like that. And there was a great earthquake. Such as was not since men were upon the earth. Here's another earthquake in the book of Revelation. I believe one of the trumpets brought an earthquake or the, the seals. Great earthquake as such not since men were upon the earth. So mighty an earthquake and so great. This earthquake will be the earthquake of all earthquakes. I don't know. Maybe at this point, maybe California will go in the ocean. And the great city, Jerusalem, it's not about New York, it's not about L.A., it's not about Mexico City, it's about God and his people and his land, was divided into three parts. And cities of the nations fell all over the world. And great Babylon came in remembrance before God. To give unto her the cup of the wine of the fierceness of his wrath. Babylon is here. Now, the last chapter of 1 Peter. Hey, that's us Catholics. There we are. But when we come to Babylon Revelation. Oh, no, no, that's not us. Lord willing, wait till we get to chapter 17. So God is angry with Babylon. Why Babylon? Because that's where all the religions come from. And every island fled away, and the mountains were not found. So the islands take off, and the, and the mountains drop. The earth is starting to become one great plain. 
And we will read, and you study the Bible to find out that in the millennium, Jerusalem will be the highest point of all the world. It will be the, the only high point. Everywhere else in the world will be a plain. The valley shall be brought up, and, uh, and, the, and the, uh, the valley shall be brought up, and the hills brought down. This earthquake is going to change the earth, like what we think when the earth was divided. I was trying to think of his name. I was trying to think of his name. When God ripped the, the earth apart. You look at the earth. You look at South America and Africa. They do look like they were together one time. And then they got that great rift in the Pacific Ocean. Well, it may all come back together again. And to give unto her the cup of the wine of the fierceness of his wrath. Jesus drank from a cup. The cup of sin. They would not receive the cup that drank, Jesus drank. Behold, the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. God says, okay, fine. I'll give you a cup. And every island fled, and, and the mountains were not found. Can't find a mountain. And there fell upon a man a great hail out of heaven. Every stone about the weight of a talent. Every stone. That hurts. And men blasphemy God because of the plague of the hail. For the plague thereof was exceedingly great. You mean not even getting scorched by men? You guys heard him? Are you being burned? Really? Let me send you an ice pack. Pew, ow! Dear uh, God! And I can't say what they're going to be saying. As they're getting bounced in the head and bounced in the foot, getting bruises, getting beaten up, probably getting broken bones. Grr! Stuff it! And maybe going over to the... Pop worse than getting stoned. The talent? I mean, maybe they're going to the Antichrist and he's doing the miracle. Okay, be healed. And I don't know. But they're getting scorched by fire. Good! I can, I, can, I can picture being the old state that I was an unsaved man. I can picture what they're telling God. Not nice. And then God gives them a little ice for their heat. <clears throat> While they're drinking their blood. Why? Because they took the mark. They're worshiping that image. They are falling down before the, before the Antichrist. As the great leader. As the great God of all gods. As he blasphemies God. And the ones that are safe are Shadrach, Meshach, and go in the fire. And the Lord's with him. Tables turn. Now the world is in the fire. And again, we see Exodus coming back. And America is at the point today, she's erasing history of everything. And that will be the downfall of America. She will not understand. Her children will not know what is happening to her. And that the history books did conclude to say, if it were to happen again, this is what you do. And what they're raising children today, America will fall. Plain and simple. Know your history. Read your whole Bible. 